We know that this recovery and reinvestment plan is only the first part of what we need to do to restore prosperity and secure our future. We also need a strong and viable financial system to keep credit flowing to businesses and families alike. And my administration will do whatever it takes to restore our financial system. Our recovery depends on it. And so in the next week, Secretary Geithner will release a new strategy to get credit moving again, a strategy that will reflect some of the lessons of past mistakes while laying the foundation of the future. But in order to restore trust in our financial system, uh, we're going to have to do more than just put forward our plans. In order to restore trust, we've got to make certain that taxpayer funds are not subsidizing excessive compensation packages on Wall Street. We all need to take responsibility, and this includes executives at major financial firms who turned to the American people hat in hand when they were in trouble, even as they paid themselves customary lavish bonuses. As I said last week, this is the height of irresponsibility. It's shameful, and that's exactly the kind of disregard of the costs and consequences of their actions that brought about this crisis a culture of narrow self-interest and short-term gain at the expense of everything else. Now, this is America. We don't disparage wealth. We don't begrudge anybody for achieving success. And we certainly believe that success should be rewarded. But what gets people upset, and rightfully so, are executives being rewarded for failure, especially when those rewards are subsidized by U.S. taxpayers, many of whom are having a tough time themselves.